In the meantime, let's move away to talking about water availability. It's been well over four weeks since residents of Atapaka and its environs were cut off water supply. A problem the Ghana Water Company attributes to structures erected in waterways in the area, leading to blockages in old pipes. The water company says it is connecting new pipes to deal with the shortage of water in the affected communities, which include Kokomlimli and Dansoman. Communications manager of the Ghana Water Company, Stanley Marty, says the new channels are being laid from the Paloma Hotel on the Ring Road to the Kwame Nkrumah Circle Interchange. Uh, Kwame Nkrumah Interchange. If what Evans Chinui has more. Residents of Adabraka, Asalem Down, Bubuashi, Dansuman, and suburbs of Accra are experiencing acute water shortage. Thousands of these frustrated residents have had to spend productive hours in search of water. They want the Ghana Water Company to fix the problem. Actually, this problem started three weeks ago. We struggle every day to get water. We have had to buy water from a nearby gas station. We've not had water for some time now. We get water from the gas station close by and we pay for it depending on how large your bucket or container is. This is the first time the water tanker is coming to this area. We are really suffering. People sometimes have had to fetch water from gutters. School children do not even have water to bath. We do not know what is happening. This problem has to be fixed soon. But communications manager of the Ghana Water Company, Stanley Marty, says the situation will soon be solved. We're going to relocate the pipeline. We're going to lay new lines. We can all see the new uh, pipelines that we have here. These are HDP pipelines. They're current, they're, they're current and very modern and to stand the test of time. So we relocate them on the other side of the road, which also means that we need to clear that area demarcated for the utilities. And you can see that most of them are wooden structures, so it makes it easier for us to, to clear them. Then we can lay the new pipeline to the other side to join the line around SSB Bank. Now, when we are done with that, we expect that water should flow freely and through the full circumference of the pipeline. Then we can improve on pressure to Dadabaka and surrounding communities. If we realize that beyond SSB, we still need to do more, we will still have to uh, demolish more structures and lay new pipelines um, so that we can have water to the people. Mr. Marte also explained to Joy News why the situation is so. The Ghana Water Company Limited has been working around the clock to have the problem solved. So we have been um, doing troubleshooting to locate the exact area where um, uh, the area which is causing the problem. We realized that one of the areas is this stretch that we see here, about uh, 600 meters from, from here. Uh, we see mansions built on the pipelines. Now these mansions, the weight of these mansions impact on the old pipeline because this area is an old community. So we've had to demolish these buildings. Now, um, we, we, we want to add some human face to it because these are very expensive buildings. So what we have done is to rather invest into relocating the pipeline. Now, we've also decided on the relocation because the pipelines are already old. So why do you demolish uh, new buildings because of, a old, because of an old pipeline? Works, according to him, will be completed within a week. Hopefully in a week, uh, this problem of water shortage in Adabraka, Adansuman, Kukumlimli and its environs should, should have uh, been solved.